<clears throat> Good evening, my name is Wade Redding, and this is the Disposition to Teach video portion of the assignment. Um, uh, that's the first question. The question second, uh, the second question, rather, what dispositions do you possess that you think will make you a successful teacher? I believe I am very good with kids. I've been a youth pastor at a uh, summer camp, Camp Aloma, for the past, I want to say, seven years. Uh, beyond that, I work in a profession where I need to be able to communicate well with other people that I work with, as well as the people that I serve. I work at a restaurant in Scottsdale. Uh, so I think that the these two jobs in particular have really helped me uh, groom myself as a professional, both with um, in my department where it comes with coworkers and so on, as well with the people that I help. Uh, <clears throat> so I think that, along with my honesty, my integrity, and hard work, uh, really come together to help make me, or that will hopefully come together to make me a successful teacher. Uh, the dispositions that I do need to work on as a first year teacher especially will be uh, my communication skills. Um, it certainly takes me a little while to become familiar and able to really communicate with the people that I work with. Um, <clears throat> of course I don't really have an issue with it past about a month or so, but until I really get to know a group of people I will not feel as comfortable around them and so on and so forth, so that it might uh, inhibit some of my teaching abilities, especially as a first year teacher in the first school that I go to. Um, furthermore, I believe that I should probably work on humility, especially going into my first job. Uh, I have had some issues with my own uh, humility before when it comes to uh, other places that I've worked and other activities that I've been a part of, like marching band and so on and so forth. But uh, I can, with the right guidance, of course, be able to inhibit that, or not so much inhibit, just um, make it not so much a prominent factor in my need to work on category. Uh, qualities professional educators display. I believe that a professional educator should always be uh, well professional. They should never let emotion or anything outside of the classroom affect their ability to teach. Um, I also believe that they should be courteous to those around them, not only just other teachers, but also to the students who they are teaching, uh, just simply because um, respect is earned both ways. If I, as a teacher, don't show my students respect, then I can't expect them to show me the respect as well. So um, that is something else. And then finally, I believe that a teacher should be able to be able to relate to the students on at least one level or another, um, just so that everything should uh, flow smoother in the classroom. Um, also, that would help students feel more comfortable, the teacher, to come to them with problems that they're facing, such as, like, I need help with uh, example number one, like math or something else. Like problems that they're facing in the classroom, and if it needs to, they feel comfortable to go and talk to them about uh, issues outside of the classroom as well. Um, but, yeah, that's all four questions. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.